Hey! I'm Christopher JMUA and welcome back to my channel. Unless you've never been here, of course, so then welcome. I'm so glad you stopped by. Today, we're going to be reviewing the Blend Bunny Cosmetics Blends Palette. This is a 30 shade eyeshadow palette with all mattes and it's a full rainbow. So I'm excited to jump in and see what kind of look we can create. So if you're just as excited as I am and you want to know what this palette looks like, what all of the hype is about, and if you would like to know my initial first impressions of the palette, then stay exactly where you are, keep doing exactly what you're doing, and keep on watching. Here's the unit carton that the palette comes in on the top obviously it has blend bunny cosmetics shows that's the blends palette and it looks like it has a little bunny in the background then it shows at the bottom that there's 30 matte pigments for the perfect blend then on the back it shows all of the shades that are within the palette so we have a full rainbow quite literally plus some more then on the left shows the palette name and the brand it's also in that shiny holographic embossed font just like the front blends is and then it's got the ingredient list at at the bottom. Now let's open the unit carton and see what the palette looks like on the inside. By the way, this palette was $39 and I ordered it directly from the Blend Bunny Cosmetics website. Okay, so there's the palette, very light. The logo and palette title on the front, same thing that the unit carton had exactly. Then on the back, it just says Blends and Blend Bunny Cosmetics. Much more simplistic than the unit carton. Then if we flip it over one more time and open it up, we can see what the palette looks like on the inside. Let's see if there's a protective sheet. I do not, oh, yep, yeah, there is a protective sheet. Okay, good. And without further ado, here is the palette itself. So many rainbow colors. So many different versions of the rainbow colors. I think we even have pastels in there. Oh, it's so versatile. Okay, well now I'm gonna go ahead and zoom you guys in so we can get started on swatches. The first shade is the shade Lux. Remedy. Inside Joke. Bubble Bath. 32. Submerged. Serendipity. Wildflower. Secrets, Dream, Change, Bellbound, Enigma, Barley, First Kiss, Giggle, Signs, Bewitched, Vexed, Self Love, Sunsets, Promise, Chase, Vamp, Depth, Mama Bear, Truth, Cream and Sugar, Intuition, and Nevermore. I think those last few swatches were just a little bit blurry and I'm so sorry if they were out of focus. It was hard enough to get those last few on my hand anyway and I'm even surprised that I was able to fit all 30 on my arm for swatches. So with that being said, there is all 30 shades from the Blend Bunny Cosmetics Blends palette. And you guys know as always, I will insert photos of the swatches, one with flash here. and one without flash here.
And now here's a video close up of all of the swatches. Okay, obviously some time has passed since I finished those swatches. It's been probably about a week and a couple of days now. Mark and I actually went on vacation to Branson. I had uploaded a picture on the YouTube community page to share with you guys just so I could keep you updated because I definitely was not uploading while we were gone. But we decided to leave a little bit earlier than planned the day that I was filming this video. So now we're just going to pick up right where we left off and go ahead and jump into a look. I just wanted to explain why I all of a sudden looked so different differently and I think for today's look I'm gonna go with something a little more on the neutral side maybe like a neutral gray smoky eye sort of thing but I want to add a pop of a graphic liner in some color I don't know exactly which one yet and I don't even know if I'll be able to pull that off but I think I might want to try so I'm gonna go ahead and start out by priming my eyes with my P. Louise base in the shade rumor 02 off camera and once I finish that I'll be right back Eyes are primed, and since I'm going to go for more of a neutral, kind of toned down crease, I'm going to use the Morphe M441 brush, and I'm just going to fill the whole crease area with the shade Truth to begin with. And I'm going to go ahead and pull it out into the little V shape that I normally do, or at least sort of elongate it a little bit. Well, that builds up really, really fast. Now I'm gonna use this Morphe Pointed Tapered Detail Crease Brush, question mark, and I'm gonna go into the shade Intuition. Since Intuition is the gray, I wanna go ahead and add that now when I'm building the base so I can add dimension, but also kind of take the look in the direction I wanna go after I've built up the depth, if that makes any sense at all. So I'm gonna start it just on this outer edge of the crease and start blending it into the Truth shade. Guys, I didn't do my makeup the entire time we were gone on vacation, and I haven't done it since. This is the first time, and I feel so out of practice. I feel like I don't know what I'm doing anymore. What is this? Next, using this Morphe E17. It's another fluffy blending brush, but it's a little more condensed and focused down, so I should be able to get a little bit more of a controlled application. I'm going to go into the shade Nevermore now, which is the black. I'm going to tap off the excess from this brush and just take this along the crease line and blend it out with the gray after I get it applied. Even though I'm working with nudes, the level of pigmentation in these shades so far is phenomenal. For $1.33 a shade, I can't believe they're this pigmented. And they're blending so seamlessly. Now time for the lid. I've gotten the crease I think built up to about as dark and neutral as I want it to be. I realize the black of course took over more than I originally intended for it to, but that's okay. That's okay because I'm about to go in with this Milk Makeup Color Chalk in the shade Trampoline. It is a beautiful like slate gray kind of color, but it's got this silvery reflect to it. Oh, it's so gorgeous. But I'm going to use this all over the lid and then I'm going to take the black and bring it down on both sides, the inner corner and the outer corner, and make it sort of like a halo eye, kind of, or maybe a spotlight, that general effect. Ugh. There's not even a tacky base and it goes on so well. I know this isn't a review of the milk color chalks, but I do recommend, just so you know. Wow. It just started raining so hard. So if you guys can hear the rain, I apologize. It's already pretty loud in here because I have one fan running and my mini water powered air conditioner. Now rain. You're just gonna hear everything in the background, okay? Is that fine? Okay, so I know I said that I was gonna take the black and put it on the outer corner and the inner corner so that I can make it more of a spotlight eye, but you know me. I change things as I go because I make it up as I go. So instead of doing the inner corner, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna put some white there instead. So I am still gonna use the black on the Morphe E17 brush on this outer edge, but not on the inner edge. 
So I'm just gonna clean up the crease and re-emphasize it with the black and then pull the black down onto the lash line and the outer V. That way it just gives me some of that shape and dimension without having to find a whole bunch of different shimmers or use the colorful shades in the palette. That's so much better, even just like that. Now that I've gotten the crease built up, it's time for the bright color. I think maybe I want to use the shade Wildflower, which is this like highlighter yellow. I think that's just really gonna pop on top of this black, gray, and light ashy rosy brown. So we're gonna find out, but I'm gonna go ahead and go off camera first and scrape some of the shade Wildflower off onto my little mixing palette here and use my Inglot Duraline to make some custom liner with the shade. So give me just a second to mix that and try to get the right consistency and I'll be right back. I think I have a mixture made now. It's obviously a little bit darker than what it looked like in the pan because it's very wet, but I'm hoping it will dry to be the right color. And I'm gonna be using my Cut Creaser X by Melalops C2 brush. It's, a, it's not quite the longest liner brush, but not quite the shortest liner brush either. And I'm just gonna try to do a graphic liner with it. Oh my gosh, I made a line and I didn't destroy everything. Even that in itself is an accomplishment. I'll take it. Round one, complete. Round two, fight! Okay guys, I've gotten the liner, oh no, sorry. The shade Wildflower applied above the crease. I did the best I could. And now I know that I apply graphic liner just like I do my wings. I finish one, go to the other, realize the first one doesn't match the second one and make it bigger, then realize I need to make the left one bigger to match the right one. So then I go back and forth and back and forth. Anyway, this is where I finally ended and I feel like they're at least somewhat even, especially when I do this and you can't see it. <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and go off camera and clean up my under eye, get all of my face makeup done, foundation, concealer, brows, lashes, mascara, etc, etc. That way I can come back and we can finish off the lower lash line and I can give you guys my final thoughts on the Blend Bunny Blends palette. So I will see you guys in just a second. At this point I've gotten all of the look completed except that lower lash line. So to begin, the lower lash line. I'm gonna try to continue this whole green accent sort of theme here. I'm gonna take this Morphe brush that I used in the shade Intuition and this other Morphe M441 brush that I used in the shade Truth. And I'm gonna just quickly color switch these brushes, mainly so I can get the black off of them so I don't go way too crazy too fast. But I'm just gonna use the same brushes on the lower lash line in the same shade. However, I'm gonna change it up just a little bit once I get towards the inner corner area. So first, I'm gonna use the pointed blender brush and take intuition and start running that all across my lower lash line. Even just that by itself is so perfect. And of course, I'm gonna run it up and around into the crease. Okay, intuition is now applied everywhere. Now I'm gonna use the big fluffy brush and go into true. And see, I don't mind using a big fluffy brush like this on the lower lash line as long as it's in a shade like truth where it's really close to my skin tone. That way I don't really have to worry about it blending out too low because even if it does, it's just gonna look like my skin tone anyway. Now, alas, it is time for Wildflower yet again. So I'm gonna use the Luxie 221 Flat Definer Brush, take a little bit of Wildflower, which by the way, was the shade I used for the graphic liner. And I'm gonna tap off a little bit of the excess. I know this shade's not gonna stick very well to my under eye, or I'm guessing it's not gonna stick very well. I'm just gonna start patting it right here. That actually went down really well already, even without a tacky base. I didn't expect it to stick without a tacky base, so that's amazing. Since it is sticking so well, I'm just gonna go ahead and pack it all on the front portion of the under eye, and then I'll just blend it in with the gray. I can't believe that it's so pigmented. Wildflowers applied, that is so cool. Guys, this look is so cool. I love the neutral gray 
blackish smoky eye with just that pop of neon on top it is so amazing and i kind of love it so now i need to go off camera and finish off my lower lash line mascara for mascara i'm using the l'oreal air volume mega mascara so i'm gonna go ahead and do that off camera give me just a second and i'll be right back to give my final thoughts on the blends palette so here is the finished look So, what do you guys think? Do you love it? Do you love it? Because I love it. I think the green is so fun. Or chartreuse, yellow, whatever you want to call it. I think it's so fun. And I love the intensity of all the pigments that I used. Granted, I realized I only used a nude shade, a gray, and a black in the crease. But each one of them built up so beautifully and blended out effortlessly. So if you haven't guessed yet, I definitely recommend the Blend Bunny Blends Palette. This thing is phenomenal, especially for $40. At $1.33 a shade, the quality is just impeccable. It works amazingly. The packaging is nothing to write home about, I'll admit, but I don't need it. I would say this is definitely one of the probably top three most versatile palettes I own. The only reason it wouldn't be the top two or the top one is because there's only about three neutral shades to work with. And I personally prefer a full rainbow and a wide array of neutrals. But that's when it comes strictly to versatility. But other than that, my opinion of this palette is literal perfection. Who would have thought the thousands of people that have reviewed it already and loved it we're right. Now I'm happy to be one of them. And I cannot wait to use this a second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth time. But with my final thoughts, that concludes this review. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please don't forget to give me a big thumbs up. It does let me know that you enjoy my content, but it also lets others know that you enjoy my content as well as helping me understand what type of content you guys enjoy so that I can continue to create those types of videos. Also, if you like this look and you wanna see more looks like them, you can follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, and TikTok. My username is the same for everything. It's just Christopher JMUA. And if you gain nothing out of this video, if you gain nothing out of any of my videos, please at least gain this. And that is to always remember and never forget that you are absolutely beautiful. And I love you guys. Bye.